Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Automaton. And last week we started to try and make um, hot graphite ingots and I knew I had to make coal dust, coke dust, but that was it and I thought well I've got to put it in the industrial squeezer because that's what the book said and it didn't work. So um, this week we're going to see why it didn't work because I found out that yes you do put um because we made the crusher it took us a bit of time but we made the crusher you do put the coke dust into the crusher but then from the crusher you put it into the squeezer which is what we were trying to do or what I was trying to do and it didn't work it turns out it's not one um dust that it needs it's not one to one it's eight to one and bef um, I was getting a bit kind of like, why didn't the book say so? But then when you look in JEI and you look at the, um, at, you see, hop graphite, when you look at the ingot and you click on, no, if you click on uh, the dust, and you click on the industrial squeezer it does say eight next to it and that is the bit that I missed so yeah I saw the dust which is very hard to see but I missed the eight which is white on the dark background so I have been making um, blocks of coal coke in this thing the advanced coke oven actually I think it's still doing some yeah still it's taking its time but it's doing some and afterwards I took the blocks of cold coke threw them into the crusher and it just outputs into a chest here which I've already taken them out and I've just separated them because we need four for the quest <coughs> excuse me where is it um, this one electrodes you need four hot graphite ingots so um, so while all of that was going on I just need to put these in to smelt nope it's not to smelt see I've made them make the same mistake I thought yeah I've got the dust I just need to smelt it no we don't smelt it we need to put the dust into the into the squeezer and I have my Oh, it's full. Good. My mining head was charging in there because I went down in the basement and I was um I was mining. And I like I do like the mining head, but I mean it runs out of fuel, obviously. Why can I not get up here? No, it doesn't want me to. It it runs out of fuel, obviously, and um it only drills on the even though it drills in a nine by nine square it only drills out the block that you want it I'll explain I'll, I'll show you when I'm leaving this to to charge not to charge to crush because it takes forever let's just pick up the weirding gadget I just want to make sure a hundred percent that this will be running while we're gone that the squeezer will be running while we're gone. The squeezer does take a long time. Okay, you're not gonna like it if I do that. And to be honest, I don't know if it makes any difference if it's spread out across all four or if it's in one, but we're gonna leave that. Um, we'll leave that for now and let's go down in the basement I have lit up this tunnel a bit because I was I always seem to get sniped at as I come down 
Oh, I thought the water had gone there. Right, so let's pick a tunnel. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go... Let's stop here and start here. So, the hammer, hammer the drill, it clears a 9 by 9 area, but it concentrates on the block that it's pointing at. So, for example, and of course now that I'm, um, did I put them away? Oh, I put them away. I've forgotten my torches. Well, we'll just do it here, where you can see. So, for example, if I step back a little, you can see the 9 by 9 area. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's not um, it's not around the gold blocks because if I mine it, it would leave in the blocks that are not stone, which is really annoying. But it must mine things that are in a um, what's the word in a contiguous area. So if it was a nine by nine of diamonds, it would mine the diamonds. But then it's probably a good thing that it doesn't because I find that obviously it doesn't have any um, enchantments on it. So I go in with my wob, my wob wob paxel, my wob paxel, my wob paxel. And that has efficiency three, fortune two, and I'm breaking two on it. So instead of getting one block out of this, this is two blocks. I've got two blocks doesn't make a difference it's the gems that make a difference so instead of getting one diamond I might get three or four so that is that is the advantage to that or disadvantage depending on how you look at it because when you're mining and you're picking up tons of stuff it can be a bit of a pain everything fills up a whole lot faster but that's the only gripe that I have really with the drill head other than that it's it's not bad I like drilling with it but you have to watch the needle though the fuel doesn't last maybe about 15 minutes mining about 15 minutes give or take so depend on how much mining you want done it can be a lot, it can be a little. But um but yeah that's that's my take on it. I keep throwing my Paxel out. I don't know why. I have poor Paxel control. Right, let's go back up and see if we are I don't think we finished um Smelt, not smelting, smushing. That's the technical term for it, smushing the blocks together <laughs> in order for them to become ingots. Yeah, I don't think it's finished. I don't think the squeeze is finished yet. But we'll see. But I haven't done much this week between episodes. It's basically to find out about the the ingots and to do a bit of mining okay we've got two dust that's not bad you've got two dust all right so we'll leave those and while we leave those we can do this call sampling because we need that as well so we need a call sample drill as we upgrade our resource processing we are going to need to look at gathering more resources more quickly for all that processing speed although we don't have access to a full quarry we can start off with the excavator which will dig up ores in the current chunk However, it doesn't dig up any ore. In immersive engineering, each chunk is randomly generated with certain types of ores that can be excavated independent of the actual ores in the ground. 
To find out what will be excavated, place a core sample drill in the chunk, power it and wait a short time for a drill to sample. The sample will tell you what the ex excavator will dig up. So they want a core sample drill. So I went ahead and I got the stuff for that. And uh, core sample drill. And that is four steel scaffolding, three steel fences and two light engineering blocks. So let's go forward. What am I missing? The light engineering blocks. I thought I had those. I've got heavy engineering blocks. Okay. Do I have any light engineering blocks left after all the the building last week? I might not have any light engineering blocks left. Let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I've only got heavy engineering blocks. Okay, what do we need to make light engineering blocks? We need iron mechanical components, iron and copper. As a steel mechanical components. Okay, so we need a lot of iron. Do I have any iron mechanical components in here? We've got lots of steel. Any iron? Are you hiding iron? Uh, it's Constantine, no. Okay, we should have some iron smelted up. We've got a stack of iron. It's good, is this finished? Oh, this needs more. It needs more logs. Wrong thing. This is what we want. This need any more logs? Uh, yes. There's probably a way to automate the logs into there, but i too lazy to set it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm being honest here, it's yet another thing to set up. I guess I must like running around doing stuff. Right, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we needed iron. We want to make... Um, light engineering blocks. We need iron. We need the hammer. Which I believe is back in those chests. Or it might be in here. Uh, nope, it's in. No, is it in my backpack? No, it's in those chests. One of those chests. I remember looking at it, so I think I think it's in the top chest. Let's have a look. Um, hammer. It was, it was used. I, oh, is it in here? No. What did I do with the hammer? Not unless I'm being really blind. And just missing it. No, definitely not in there. Okay, we can make a new hammer, because we probably need a new one anyway. I didn't put it in any of these chests, did I? Nope. All none of these, right? No to that. Not that. Not that. Okay, let's make a new hammer. We need sticks. We need string. Um, and I think 
we need cobble? Oh no, we needed iron. There you go. <laughs> Goes to show how much I know. Right, so for the cord core hill girl. I wanted to say cord core drill and I'm calling it core hill dammer. <sighs> core. Right, for the light engineering blocks. We are missing the iron mechanical component, so that's four per, that's eight, and two iron. Where are we? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two copper. Okay, and then we needed three more copper across the middle. And that, and that. That gives us two. And then we can make the cool sample drill. the middle loot chest because we can and let's open it up excavation okay um, did I pick up loot chest let's see what we get electrum and constant tan okay it's not too bad That's not too bad at all. Because we'll need those. Um, which one had them? Okay, so we've done that. We were waiting for the dust. Which should be finished by now. Yes, it is very finished. And let's smelt it up. I did make one earlier, just to make sure I had the right thing. So now I'm making the four ingots for the quest. Okay, smelt a little faster. Is there any way to bake this faster? It might be, I don't know. You would think because it's electric it would be faster. Right, any minute? There you go. Back. So we claim true graphite electrodes. A much better furnace. Oh, there you go. So, it wants us to make the arc furnace. So should we make the arc furnace before core sampling? Don't know. Well, let's, um, I guess we'll put this outside by, why am I going this way? daytime it is daytime but it's raining okay let's go back in where it's not so miserable maybe if we go into the mining world it oh does it show you the chunks because I saw like ghostly light look if you I don't know, it was right here. I was seeing ghost there. I was seeing ghostly lines. So I guess this is all one chunk. Right, 
So this is, that's a connector. That's a relay. Do we have any more HV coils? If we, oh, there you go. Let's put it up in here then. Because it's just showing us, it's not actually. Let's put it there. Okay, um. Do we have any more scaffolding? Um, scaffolding. Alright, that's enough. Let's see if there's a power port on the top. No, there isn't. Do I need to... I probably need to right click it with the hammer in order to validate it. Nope. Actually, she's given me an RF thing. So... But where do you attach the power to it? Hmm. It's not as down there, maybe, but that looks like an input output thing. Okay, I'm right clicking just in case you need to validate it like anything else. Why is this not straightforward? Well, show me RIF. All the other machines where they have power, they have that funny little square. Well, this doesn't, but these do. There's one there, one on the other side. So, okay, maybe that is where the power comes into. I need another HV coil thing. Uh, LV, MV, LV. Do I have no more HVs? I don't think I do. Oh. There's the engineer's hammer. See, YouTube of blindness, it's real. It's definitely real. I think I need those. No. I need brick. HV, there you go. I was just about to make some more, but I didn't need to. Okay, does it? It makes no sense, but does it attach to there? Oh, it does. Like I said, it made no sense. Because it doesn't quite look like the others. But how do you know if it's working? That's the next question. The book says you're supposed to wait a little while. And place in the chunk, power it, and wait a short time for it to drill a sample. So, does it shoot out? What does it do? It's not making any noise. And actually, it's sunset. Let's go and sleep because that rain is driving me nuts.
Okay, new day, it stopped raining. Hopefully that's enough time for the cool drill to spit out whatever it was supposed to spit out. Ooh. It's drilling. I have to admit, immersive engineering does have the coolest um, animations. Right, we haven't picked up anything, right? No. No, you don't have to shift click and hit it. I think hitting it is irre irrelevant. I think it just happened to do the, the whole cool animation. I wish I knew what to do. Okay, let's leave it and let's look at something else. No, no, wrong key. Okay, so the next thing is building the furnace. All right, and it wants reinforced blast brick, which is this one. Okay, I'm happy to break this apart. Because, I mean, we made it and then we never used it. So that's fine by me. Okay, that's, oh, it was a bit quick off the mark there. Um, oh no, we've got the, this thing, the pol portable null overflow, er, nullifier. Right, that's that. Right, let's see if this thing has, has spat anything out yet. Nope, and there's nothing in our inventory, okay. Anyway, sheet metal, light engineering, sheet metal, heavy engineering, okay. But it says it's a very big thing. So, is our room going to be big enough? Like, if we put it here, is this going to be okay? I think we're going to have to extend the whole room. And why is there nothing coming out? I just want something coming out so we can end the episode. This is annoying. Maybe if we go um, farming, fielding, drilling. Maybe if we go drilling. Where's the weirding gadget? Maybe it's how. Oh, how do you see the chunks? Is there a. It's F9? Yes. There you go, we're definitely inside a chunk. Yeah, if you press F9 twice, it brings up the chunk boundary. So we're definitely right in the middle of a chunk. Okay, let's put the weirding gadget down in front. To make sure it's still running. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't press shift. You don't shift and right click. Um, that's the graphite electrodes. No, nope, nothing in there. All right, let's go down to the basement and do a wee bit of mining and then come back up and see if that makes any difference. If I have it in my hand, does it just go down automatically? You know what, I haven't been this way yet. No, I haven't been this way yet. Did I bring, oh no, I didn't bring any torches. Never mind, we'll just do a little bit. Although I find, uh, see, now I get to where all the ores are and it's dark. Let's go get some torches. Actually, while am I walking? I have that. All right, nothing, nothing of interest, nothing in my inventory. I'm just checking. Yeah, nothing in my inventory. Do I have to? No, shift, maybe with the engineer's hammer? I don't know. Nope. We saw it do that cool animation once and that was it. So I don't know, maybe it's broken. We came up for torches. Right, we have at least a stack of torches. Let's just spend a couple of minutes doing this and then we'll go back upstairs and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so you see it's it's um, left all the ores on the side and in the middle. But like I said, it's better to go in with my efficiency pick or looting because then I can mine more efficiency. Efficiency? <laughs> Efficiently. Oh dear, I am making a right pig's ear of it today. Did I? Oh, I mined up all the cobble as well. It's a good thing I've got the overflow thing. Alright, let's put some of the junky things in there. one thing about the efficiency pick it will makes short work out of um, redstone see I only got one diamond with that one if I'd used it I would have gone like four but redstone and lapis when it sees those I just end up with tons of the stuff all right let's go back upstairs and see if we have anything to report. Okay. Let's walk around it just in case. Oh, you know what? I should look in the engineer's manual. Oh dear. Um, is it in my ender pouch? No. Is it in my backpack? No. I 
did see it, but oh, there it is. Heavy machinery. Uh, excavator? No, it'll be under simple machines. Uh, it doesn't seem to be. What's this thing called? A core, core drill. It's a core sample drill. Okay. Um, no, it's not under simple machines, heavy machinery. No, it's not under that. Tools, mining drill. No. Construction. No. Uh, power wires, generators, no. Even I'm checking it just in case. Immersive tech. Distiller, solar, no, none of those either. Oil processing? No. Did I look under simple machines? I think I did, didn't I? Alright, this is a bit weird. Um, overview and resources, graphite, yeah I should have read the book and I would have found what I needed, not seeing the drill thing, uh, tools, mining drill, that's not the same thing though. That's not the same thing, that's this thing. Volvo, cartridge, sky hook, chemical thrower, rail gun, capacitor, backpack. Uh, nope. Am I just being really blind? Conveyor belts, external, da, da, da. nope. Excavator. Alright, maybe. No, it just talks about the excavator. But it doesn't say about the. Well, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay. I've checked. Coke, oven advanced, distiller, solar tower, boiler, steam, alternator, redstone. Yeah, it's not there. Okay, well, that's a shame. And while we were. Then does that mean that there's nothing to drill? Nothing to report? I don't know. I'm going to have to play with this for a little bit. See if I can work out what's wrong or what I'm missing or something. Okay, well, I mean, we got the graphite ingots, the hot graphite ingots that eluded us last time. So, um, I think... I think I'm going to end it there so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye